Extraordinary Dogs is brought to you by You Can Uber, where we believe all dogs are extraordinary. Labrador Daisy is one of a team of six dogs being trained as biodetectives by Claire. The dogs sniff a cancer carousel. Each pot contains a urine sample derived from healthy people, those with cancer, and those with other illnesses. As the dog smells each pot, it draws in molecules into its wet nose. This moisture helps dissolve the molecules and allows the receptor cells located in the dog's nasal cavity to pick up specific odors. Dogs have tear ducts, just like humans, that run all the way down to its nose. This helps keep their nose moist and their fantastic sense of smell working to the maximum. Dogs have an extremely sensitive sense of smell compared to the human species. If you read the textbooks, they'll tell you that it's between 1,000 and 10,000 times. And you also read for certain molecules, for certain chemicals, it can be up to 100 million times more sensitive than the human nose. And it is this complex and powerful odour detection that's helping turn dogs into lifesavers. At the moment, the dog's detection rates on a double-blind study for bladder cancer, which is the cancer we've been training these dogs to detect, is um, about 60%. Now, we still have ways in which we can improve these detection rates, and we still have a hope that this work will lead to changes and developments in the way in which cancer is diagnosed. The World Health Organization says that deaths from cancer worldwide are projected to continue rising, from approximately 10 million annual deaths at present to an estimated 12 million deaths in 2030. Early detection is a key factor to survival, and this is what the charity is trying to improve. For medical specialists, disease detection by dogs offers enormous potential for the future. The holy grail in cancer diagnostics is to have a very cheap, simple test for everybody that tells you whether this patient sitting in front of me has cancer. Imagine just a simple blood test where you take a sample of blood or even a sample of urine and you just put it in a box and it's a yes and no answer. And that's what we'd like to see. And maybe by using the dogs in this way, we'll get to that. If we can discover with scientists what it is that a dog uses to make its indication of, of, of cancer, then this could be used in the future um, by um, using an electronic system, an electronic nose. And potentially, 10 or 15 years time, we could all go into our doctor's surgery and give a urine sample, a breath sample, and these would be screened for the volatiles. If the volatiles were present, then obviously you'd require further tests. Thanks to Max, Maureen is able to carry on with her life. She's in no doubt about the importance of continuing to develop the work of dogs like Max to ensure others like her manage to detect cancer before it's too late. Cancer has changed my life entirely. Max has got me through so much. He's opened up new avenues and I owe him so much.